Hello there. Today we're going to show you how to clean the coils on your air conditioner. We've had ours for three years now and we've had no problems with it. We've done several videos on draining and cleaning the AC and we've gotten a number of questions from viewers on problems that they had based on dirty coils and filters. We figure that this issue is like a dentist. The longer you wait, the worse it gets. So we decided to clean our coils before problems arise and we'll show you how to do that. We'll also show an easier way to remove the filter than in an earlier video we did. And we'll give you tips on general maintenance to help your unit run smoothly. So let's get started. So now I'm going to show you how to get at the coils to clean them, which means taking out the filter first. So I'm going to take out the filter. First, I'm going to cover the top of the unit just to uh, keep the dust off, like so. And the filter opening is in the back of this unit. And as you can see, there's a little opening here at the top. And to get it out, I just put the two fingers in that opening and pull out, pops right out. Here are the coils. For cleaning, use a soft brush. I was a bottle scrubbing brush because the fins on the coils are fragile. Use a gentle up and down motion and it's easy to see the dust coming off. You'll notice the knot that the coils are not too dirty, but it's best to do this early before the dust builds up too much. Once in a while you can wipe it off just to get off any excess dust, as you can see there. Shows that it's working. And you continue. Now we're doing the final wipe just to get rid of the remaining bits of dust. Very easy job as well. As you can see, there wasn't too much dust to begin with, and so this cleanup was easy. And that's really our whole point in this video. Do this job early and you save yourself a lot of work and possibly a lot of money later on. Here is the finished product. As you can see, we've come a long way in just this few minutes that we've been cleaning as shown in the before and after photos. So it does make a difference. Uh, we've gotten lots of questions about why is my air conditioner working? And they have taken it to the service people and they've said that they had dirty coils. And that could be avoided by that, plus the repair bill could be avoided just by doing this simple practice, maybe just as little as once a year. It makes a big difference. So the coils are now clean. Now we're going to show a different and easier way to remove and replace the filter than we showed in our earlier video on filter cleaning. Here's our frame with the dirty filter and we're going to remove it now. At first we used to try to pop it from the sides which was, took a lot of time, but we found it's easier at the top. Two ways to do it. With my sort of bigger fingers and a little bit of a fingernail, I can pull out like this. If you have smaller fingers, they might, you could do it right under these clips. But for me, I go like this, then add another finger and just slide it right out. And as you can see, it's fairly dirty, especially when you hold it up to the light. So here we have the filter again, it's all cleaned now. As you can see, those streaks of dust that we saw at the beginning are gone. We do have a separate video on cleaning the filter it, it's easy to do, but the video does help with that. Now we're ready to put it back into the housing. And to do that, you basically do in reverse what we did taking it out. There are two guides up near the top. As you will see, you just slide it in below those and keep sliding down. And then it snaps right in and it's ready to go into the back of the unit again. And to do that, you see these two tabs at the bottom. There are two slots in the back of the unit down here. Just fit those tabs into the slots and push. And it pops right in and you're ready to go. In addition to coils and filters, we have a few more maintenance tips we'd like to tell you about. 
the next items we're going to look at are the drainage spouts. We have two, most portable units have two spouts, top and bottom, and we haven't drained this in about a month and a half, so I'm going to try draining it now. This plastic wrap is a good way to catch any water that drips, if there is any. So I'm opening up the spout, and really nothing is coming out. So that's our situation here. What we want to tell you is if you see the light on top of your unit saying that it's time to drain the tank and you open it up and nothing comes out for you, although you're getting a signal that it's time to drain, this spout could be clogged. And if so, that causes the water to back up in the unit. So what you could do for this is just to take a, a pipe cleaner and insert that gently into the spout. And that could help to dislodge any of the dirt that's in there. You would want to have a pan underneath to catch the water that comes out when you do that. Make sure the unit is unplugged. And that will help to clear any drains and could save a lot of diagnostic money from a, from a repair service. And you would do this on both the top and the bottom spouts with the same procedure. So that can be very helpful. Some other items are just keeping the exterior clean. And this includes just wiping all over the unit with a, with a damp cloth. For these ribs, on ours, we have ribs below the filter housing. We cleaned this a little earlier, but these are this cannot be taken off like the top housing can. So what you do with that is you get a cloth with a very weak solution of detergent or just baking soda in it and go in between the ribs like so. And you can catch a lot of dust this way. And I won't show you the whole thing, but just to go up and down in between each one. This works well for us. You could also try a, a hand vacuum cleaner as well to pull dust out. But this is a good way to get it right down to the plastic with this. And then another area to check is the exhaust hose, which builds up a lot of dust just from sitting and by gravity dust settles on it. And also around the housing and on the unit right next to it. So you can do this throughout the length of the hose if you want. And this is also another area where the hand vacuum could come in handy. Another item to look at for keeping the unit running well is storage over the winter. At the end of the cooling season, you want to put it away in a, in a nice spot. But there are a few things to remember before that. The first that we would look at is the exhaust, is the drainage spouts. You should open those up and drain it as much as possible and leave them open for a few hours just to get maximum evaporation. Then you should wipe all around just to get any dust off the surface, including those ribs in the back. You would also want to check on the exhaust hose here. You can wipe that down as we mentioned or vacuuming the top of it to get the dust off the outside. You can also put the nozzle of the vacuum into the end of the exhaust tube and pull out some dust from the exhaust tube that way. And then you're ready to close it up. You, one thing that we use, very important on the top of the unit to keep dust from getting in, we found a plastic cover from a plastic storage container and just placed it on the top. And this worked really well because it fits very close to the top, uh, to the size of the top of the unit, but it also has some gaps to let some air in because there's always going to be a little bit of moisture left over and that lets it breathe and to dry out more over the course of the winter. And then for the exhaust hose, you could put either a cloth or plastic just loosely draped over the top of it, but also a cloth or plastic bag around the end of the tube because that will keep dust from getting into that large opening. 
So that way you have it uh, really well protected from dust, but you still allow the moisture to evaporate. So there you have it. We've cleaned our foils. We're glad that we got to them before the build dust built up too much. We hope this and all the other tips will keep your AC running well for years to come. Our next few videos will be what we call life hacks, easy ways to solve common household problems. Please consider subscribing, which helps us to grow our channel. Thank you for watching and stay cool.